<laughs> Hello. Um, what do you think about the Lordship Salvation controversy? Are you aware of? Yep. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of it, the Lordship Salvation controversy um, found its most virulent defense through Zane Hodges and his, um, his um, protégés out of Dallas Seminary 25 years ago. Um, it's not a big deal anymore. There are some, there's some of it around, and the voices that defend it are virulent. But um, uh, in my view, it's theologically and exegetically a mistake. Um, the, 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 the lordship salvation analysis is by the people who don't hold to lordship salvation. That's the bit that's the heresy. Um, they argue that if you demand uh, repentance of the sort that really shows your life is turned around, uh, either before or after salvation, then you are demanding something apart from grace alone. Um, so Zane, Zane was an interesting man. He, 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 he was a great evangelist, uh, but he worked an awful lot with um, Mexican-Americans um, and uh, immigrants, both legal and illegal, uh, trying to win them to Christ. And he found that many, many, many made professions of faith, but not many of them stuck. And he didn't know how to handle that um, because um, uh, he also believed that once saved, always saved. Uh, but these people weren't living like it, thank you very much. And it, the numbers were so bad that, that eventually he came to the conclusion that once you're saved, you're always saved, and it doesn't really matter how you live. And if instead you demand lordship as part of it, lordship is necessary for, for discipleship. It, it's necessary for rewards. It's necessary for this or that, but not for salvation. Um, so that was the movement that... Uh, that, that engendered um, uh, so much controversy. And um, eventually they started a society, it's still in existence, instead of the Evangelical Theological Society, they call themselves the Grace Evangelical Theological Society because they held that to be truly evangelical, to be true with respect to the gospel, it, <clears throat> it's, it's just a matter of grace and the obedience part has nothing to do with the gospel itself directly. It has to do instead with, with um, discipleship and growth in, in personal holiness and, and, and so on. Um, I, it's, hard to, it's, hard, it's hard not to list so many things wrong with it that I'd be here uh, for a couple of hours just to give you an introduction to the debate. Um, it, it, it is so fundamentally mistaken on so many issues. Is this a problem in this country? In other words, where does your question come from? From reading, or have you got a church? So um, someone like Arnold Fruchtenbaum uh, oh, yeah. would, would be a, against um, that, that concept of uh, lordship salvation. Yeah. Yeah, um, my perception, I might be mistaken, but my perception is that in the UK in general, in the Western world in general, um, th those who have bought into the Zane Hodges heritage are few in number, and they know each other, and you get them together in a conference, and they seem pretty powerful. But you measure it against what's going on in, in church planting, uh, in the, Acts 29, uh, where the digital world is going, uh, uh, where, where the new hymnody is going, uh, uh, where Keith Getty is going. Uh, well, they're just not on the same planet. Uh, so uh, it's not this sort of thing that we've spent a lot of time at. They're... they're there are some good essays here and there that I could dig out for you that I've kept track of over the years. I mean, if it really is troubling, there is some literature to read on the subject, all right. But, um, but uh, it's not something I want, to get, I want to devote a book to. It's just not worth it.